The Ford Focus RS Mountain upgrade, available in Europe, gets only modest stated increases, 20 horsepower and 26 pounds to foot over the standard RS, a car rarely criticized for being short of firepower, but, crucially, it's sold with Ford's full approval and warranty support. Mountain has a long history of extracting more power from production cars and working as a specialist trace engine builder, but in recent years it has become Ford of Europe's go-to arm for tuning upgrades. As well as an ECU reflash, the RS375 kit brings high-flow silicone intake tubing, an upgraded recirculation valve, and what's described as a sound suppressor to cut down on noise from the increase in boost. Most important. It also comes with Mountain badges to ruin the day of mere Focus RS drivers. Ford claims the power boost cuts two tenths of a second from the Eurospec RS's claimed 4.7 seconds 0 to 62 mile per hour time. We timed the standard car at 4.6 seconds to 60. We weren't in any position to quantify the improvement, since our test car was riding on winter tires and being driven in the French Alps over roads often covered in ice and snow. But the low grip surfaces gave the boosted RS a chance to show its enthusiasm for sending output to its clever torque vectoring rear axle whenever possible. In slippery conditions, this can be felt working almost all the time, trying to keep the car on its intended line or to drift a little bit beyond it, even in the regular dynamic mode and not the much lauded drift mode. The sharpened engine responses were also both obvious and beneficial with the small accelerator openings required when driving on snow and ice. We're sad to say this is another of those European stories that ends up being summarized with three words, not for us. Or, at least, not for now. Ford said it is still debating whether to bring the Mountain kit to other markets, including the United States, but it's currently limited to Europe. In the UK. It costs £900, $1,100 at current exchange rates, before installation at a Ford-approved Mountain dealer. That's a steep price to pay compared to some of the cheaper ECU reflashes, many of which offer higher stated power increases, but the continued protection of the Ford warranty will be reassuring enough to persuade many RS owners to buy the Mountain kit. U.S. do-it-yourselfers should visit www.mountainusa.com or the Outfits Carson, California, shop. We also presume that the Mountain Tweaked RS won't be where the story ends, certainly not for European RS buyers. Ford made a more powerful RS500 version of the previous Focus RS, and we've already reported that there are plans to do something similar with the current car before it retires. Given that the last RS500 enjoyed an increase of 45 horsepower over the standard car, we can safely predict at least that much for the current RS, leapfrogging the output boost of the Mountain kit. That's the upgrade we really hope Ford brings to the United States.